A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Inter taking on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play, really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. The Inter starting lineup. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organization, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Grazie San Siro per il vostro calore. Godiamoci questa partita comunque. Buon divertimento. And this confrontation is underway. Barella. Skriniar. Brozovic. Barella has it. Possession changing hands. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. What do you anticipate seeing from him here, Lee? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. Casemiro. The ball with Luka Modric. Nacho Fernandez. Here is Marco Asensio. Casemiro. Pure ball control. And he read it well defensively. Martinez. Barella. Can they find a gap in the defence? The ball with Martinez. Lukaku. And just slightly offside. Rafael Varane. Now with Benzema. The possession lost, intercepted. Si invitano i tifosi a lasciare pulito il proprio posto e a raccogliere le eventuali cartacce al Casemiro. Grazie per la collaborazione. On to Benzema. And he's given us away. Look at Modric. Asensio. Here's Modric. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Marco Asensio comprehensively outfoxed by his opponent. Martinez. Lukaku. Well, the tackle vivacious from Varane. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Vidal. The ball with Martinez. 
Brozovic. Getting in there to intercept. Casemiro. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Ivan Perisic. Barella. Brozovic. It's with Milan Skriniar. Now Brozovic. On the ball, Bastoni. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey affair. You just hope it opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Give us your critique, Lee, on Karim Benzema. Will he be a bit disappointed with himself? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Nacho Fernandez. Poor pass. Alessandro Bastoni. De Frey. Canny defending by Kroos. Modric. Here is Marco Asensio. Karim Benzema. And a chance for him on the flank. Effective challenge. Given away by Inter. Not the pass he had in mind. Martinez. The pass this time for Perisic. Martinez. Not showing good patience. Brozovic. Now he must favour the cross. Hakimi pulls it back. A goal! He's dispatched it! Back to the sheer delight of the fans! Well, here's the replay. That pullback cross is so hard to defend against. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post. Terrible. Well, I think the coach can feel the game slipping away here. He's showing his frustration on the sidelines. Opening goal of the game, then. Rete dell'Inter con il numero due, Akraf Hakimi. Tony Kroos. Casemiro. Modric. Well, Real Madrid possession stats are pretty good, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Casemiro. 
regain possession. Martinez. Vidal. Well, visionary passing, and he's in the clear. Martinez. Now Vidal. Barella. Lukaku. Beautifully disguised ball. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Throw-ins given. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Entra con il numero 15, Ashley Young. Young. Not sure of Vidal. And in with a real chance. Has someone to play it to. And putting his body on the line. Just the clearance that was needed. And time for the change now. Esce dal campo con il numero 23, Nicolò Barella. In campo con il numero 24, Christian Eriksen. Vidal. Now Lukaku. And this is Brozovic. And the danger is averted. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Well, just listen to these Inter fans. The crowd are very much behind them. It's been a really tough game, but not long now to see this one out. And as they continue to pass it around, the attack goes through Lukaku. This could finish it! Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Con il numero 22, Arturo Vidal. Dentro, con il numero 12, Stefano Sensi. Eriksson. Brozovic. Can he play it in? Hakimi. And that is going to be all for this game. It goes into the books as a Nerazzurri victory. And Lee, interested to get your assessment as always. Well, wins like that when there's nothing between the sides seem more valuable somehow. Really tight game that was. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.